This instructional video will cover how to turn your Windows or Android Zebra Rugged Tablet into a complete handheld 3D scanning kit with Dot3D Pro software and an Intel RealSense depth camera. The first step is to select your hardware. In this case, we have the Zebra L10 series tablets at our disposal with the Windows option on the left and the Android option on the right. Both tablets are fully supported by Dot3D and Intel RealSense, so you're able to complete this procedure on Windows or Android platforms. In this case, we'll be utilizing the Windows tablet on the left and selecting the Intel RealSense D455 camera, which is a very powerful new camera from Intel that works great for 3D scanning indoors and out even in bright sunlight. The other options we see here include the LiDAR camera L515 and the smaller, more affordable Intel RealSense depth camera 415. All three of these options are supported and recommended for different scenarios. To set up our Zebra L10 Windows tablet for use with the D455 depth camera from Intel, we first need to download Dot3D from dotproduct3d.com slash Dot3D download. You can select a download for Windows in this case and follow the prompts to install onto your device. Once you've installed and opened up Dot3D, you will also need to activate a license for your software. This can also be found at dotproduct3d.com where you can choose between a free 14-day trial license or a subscription to Dot3D Pro or Scan. Either of these will support the Intel RealSense D455 camera. Once you have your software all set up, you want to attach your camera to your tablet via a USB 3.0 or higher cable. Typically this would be a USB 3.1 cable. It can be a USB-C to A. Uh, given that this tablet does have standard USB-A ports, such as the one that comes with the Intel camera, or it can be a USB-C to C cable like we have here, which is sometimes more convenient for typical tablet and phone use. The cable should be plugged in to your rugged tablet, like so, and into your depth camera on the other end. To attach your camera to the back of your tablet, you can use a magnetic mounting mechanism from Dot Product or any convenient mounting mechanism that works for your device. Now we're ready to start scanning and we're going to power up Dot3D. Here we are within Dot3D on the tablet, opened up by default to the gallery view where we see past scans. You'll see in the top left that we've activated a license of Dot3D Pro. And to start our first scan on this device, we want to press the new scan button on the top left of the screen. The software will automatically recognize and connect to the Intel RealSense camera that we have plugged in to our rugged tablet. And then you'll see what the camera sees. You'll notice that I'm starting at these two April tags. Those are the paper targets. As a best practice, that'll also finish back at the end of my scan. It's a true point and shoot technology where you see green and yellow uh, showing areas you have or have not captured and also indicating how well you have captured each area. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move around an entire floor of a house painting everything green or at least yellow. You'll also notice that I'm using the bottom left parallel plane feature, which allows me to recognize any flat surfaces in my scene, such as floor, wall, and ceiling, and flag them as such for optimization. We went ahead and fast forwarded the tape here a bit, and we're gonna skip through the next five rooms for your convenience. And I've now moved through my scene, which you'll see after post-processing, and I'm finishing back at my same two tags that I started at. In real time, this entire single scan took a total of seven minutes to walk through the scene. So now the software is going to automatically post-process the data and auto-save your preview or unoptimized data directly to the hard drive of your tablet. This is a chance for you to take a look and make sure you didn't miss anything particularly important. You can also move on and deal with this data later if you need to save time or battery life in the field. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and move forward with the optimization step right away. Uh, so I went to optimize and uh, selected to apply all applicable constraints such as the April tags in my scene, the planes that were flagged, etc. This post-processing step improves the overall accuracy and quality of your entire scan by implementing those constraints, leveling the colors throughout the scene, cleaning up any noise that's recognized, and preparing your final data set for further manipulation and export. Now we'll demonstrate a few of the capabilities you have at your fingertips here in Dot3D. So first we're going to set a coordinate system. 
referencing our origin point to this particular corner of the room. So this becomes our zero, zero, zero point, and every single point in the cloud, every measurement you make is now referenced to that point. We have a couple of view options in the top right at all times to change the point cloud pixel size or switch to the surface-based rendering, which allows you to see through the foreground. Now let's say we also want to crop and clean up our scan, chop off the ceiling so we can see into each room of this scan. I've gone to Edit, Crop, and can move my scene and the cropping box until I'm happy with what's selected in red to press crop and then clean out. We've now chopped off the ceiling, but you'll see some of the light fixtures remain. And there's also some stray points coming through the window of the door. So we can uh, quickly edit and select each of those to crop out of our scan as well. And then deselect everything we want to keep on the floor. And then again, just press the crop button in the bottom right when we're happy with what we've selected in red, which will be removed from the scan. This results in an even smaller file size and a much cleaner data set to move forward with. So before we finish up here, let's take some measurements from the scan data. So I go to the measure distance tab and have the ability to measure from any point to point within my scan. These measurements are very precise via the zoom window in the top right and the draggable nature of the measurements themselves. You can take multiple measurements now that are all savable directly to your DP file format. Lastly, we also have the annotation capability. So as a quick example, I'm gonna add a note to each of the pieces of furniture in this room, calling this couch one, and just with the tap of your finger or the click of a mouse, calling this couch two. You can also add photographs, surface area measurements, piping dimensioning, all to different types of annotations or set up your own annotation classes. Once you're ready to save and move forward with the data outside of .3D, you want to go to File Save or File Export. In this case, we're saving directly to the dot .product DP compressed point cloud format, which is compatible with a wide variety of partner applications. For more information, please visit www.dotproduct3d.com.